Right, where to start? Foundations Revealed announced their 2021 competition. I didn't know they did a competition. This is very exciting information to me. The theme for this year is Once Upon a Time, so something based on literature. My favourite book, one of my favourite books, realistically my favourite book, The Night Circus. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. I absolutely love it. It's got magic and intrigue and a fascinating non-linear writing structure. It has multiple storylines interweaving. It's just, it, ah, uh, I love this book. In terms of time period, it's late Victorian, predominantly. The latter part of the book is mostly set from 1901 to 1903. Oh, it's so good. The main character is called Celia. She's a performer and throughout the novel she is seen in various fantastic, fabulous gowns. I was thinking about how interesting it would be to create something for that character, like the things that she would wear when she wasn't on. Now, have I ever drafted a pattern before? No. Have I ever tried to make historical garments before? No. Have I ever made a waistcoat before? No. Have I ever made a blouse before? No. Have I ever worked from historical sources? No. Have I ever done proper tailoring? No. So have I ever done anything like this before in my life? No. I have not. Is that going to stop me? Absolutely not. We're gonna give it our best shot and see what on earth I end up creating. My plan is to make the external garments first. It will be possible for me to fudge the undergarments a little bit. The outer garments, however, will be more visible and I do need to start work on sharpish. I'm looking at making a skirt, a waistcoat and a blouse. I did some very speedy research. I found some patterns, some historical patterns. A free blouse pattern taken from a magazine in 1903. It has diagrams of the pattern pieces that I can transfer onto pattern paper. Very minimal instructions. There's a lot of archival material. <laughs> it starts with a K. Key keystone. Keystone? I think Keystone. Guide to dress and jacket making. Again, it has diagrams in it that you can then transfer onto pattern paper. While this is technically going to be like a costume, I don't want to spend a huge amount of time making an item of clothing I'm only ever going to wear once. Because I'd like to be able to wear these garments in other contexts, I think at some point I'm going to like sacrifice its historicalness, Victorianness, Edwardianness, and skew it a bit towards modern aesthetics, like slightly squidge it a bit.
I don't watch a huge amount of like CosTube, but I watch enough. I'm okay with that. Goodness.